Hey, I just built a bookshelf. What's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite movies. And today I'm going to be doing a very fast, very quick movie review. Also, look at me turning around, rolling around. Oh, oh this is a rolly chair. I really love it. Uh, I digress. Today I'm going to be doing a movie review on Love Lies Bleeding, which is a new A24 movie from director Rose Glass. This film is released earlier this year and I finally watched it. I finally finished watching it like 10 minutes ago, honestly. I watched the first half last night, I ran out of time, and anyways. Um, yeah, so the movie stars Kristen Stewart and Katie O'Brien as two lovers and uh, essentially it is a, a crime thriller film where they are involved and wrapped up in, uh, in this crazy, fucked up, violent mess that is created by Kristen Stewart's character's father, played by Ed Harris. Um, and all of this started where Dave Franco's character domestically abused his wife, who is Kristen Stewart's character's sister. So that's that. Um, yeah, so honestly, premise-wise, story-wise, this movie works fine. It is, however, a little bit run-of-the-mill because there is almost a subgenre out there uh, called Be Gay, Do Crimes, where a gay couple will just come together and do crimes, you know. Thelma and Louise for the most primest of the prime examples. But this subgenre is not what makes this film or or being in this subgenre doesn't drag this film down at all. I still think uh, Rose Glass did an amazing job in terms of uh, using New Mexico as the setting, especially 80s New Mexico, and give it a very strong American vibe despite being British herself. Uh, another thing is the editing and the cinematography is really nice and competent. The editing is skin tight, it's really energetic, and there's a lot of great composition, great use of colors, psychedelic cinematography. So in terms of the technical qualities of this film, it's definitely really up there. And in terms of the pacing of the film, this is actually really angry. And I realize I don't describe movies like this often, but this is an angry movie. Like with every cut, every shot just feels like a punch to the gut. And you also get these montages, you know, needles of steroids, guns, blood, and muscles like distorting and veins popping. And then you get these like sound effects, like <laughs> sound effects when the muscles do that. It's actually really fascinating. I haven't seen a lot of films explore bodybuilding and I thought this film is uh, fascinating in terms of how it shows bodybuilding. Um, but that said though, I don't think the world of bodybuilding in this film and the criminal side of things connect with each other really well. There's still a disconnect between these two premises, but it's still a fun side thing that happened. Um, but anyways, I digress. Back to the whole anger thing. This movie is very angry. It feels angry and it's extremely dramatic in tone, which I think is probably why I don't think it's a perfect movie. Um, maybe it's because it's a little bit too consistently angry to the point where um, it doesn't allow itself to develop and breathe. And I know not all movies need to be, you know, uh, slow and breathy and spacey. Uh, that's usually how I like them. But it's just, um, I don't know, a, a little bit of breath, a little bit of extra runtime probably would have benefited this film a little bit more. But yeah, other than that, this film is still really, really solid. I wasn't bored for a single scene. It's a really straightforward movie, really meat and potatoes, really standard crime thriller. Um, I guess it's a little bit wrapped up in its 80s aesthetics a little bit too much. I get it, the 80s are cool, but um, I don't know, it's just wrapped up in its aesthetics 
a little bit too much, I feel like. Uh, one thing I do have to say, though, is Christian Stewart is freaking fantastic in this movie. Christian Stewart continues to pick up very interesting roles. Same with Robert Pattinson. I feel like both of these characters post-Twilight also have to force themselves to find extremely interesting roles. You know, everything from Personal Shopper to Spencer to Crimes of the Future to now this movie, Christian Stewart provides a very stiff performance, but in a way she's so committed to it, uh, she actually embodies that character. And she does it so freaking well in this movie. It's so feisty and angsty and angry and this movie is a middle finger to the world, and it's the middle finger to patriarchy, and it is definitely a fun one, uh, even though it is pretty standard in and of itself. So yeah, I'm giving Love Lies Bleeding a strong 7 out of 10. Um, if you're down for some good old crime thriller, you'll be liking this one. Okay. Uh, so, have you watched Love Lies Bleeding? Comments below, let me know. Subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. I'm starving right now. I'm starving.